Perpetual Mommy here today to do a stroller review for all of you. This is my Valco Baby Neo Twin Stroller in the tailor-made color gray, and it is beautiful, you guys. So I have a two-year-old and a three-year-old, and I have been through about eight strollers in the last three years, and this is my first side-by-side -side that I've owned, and I love it, you guys. I absolutely love it. So I've gone from a tandem double to a side-by-side -side double, and it is a dream. So those of you who have not heard of Valco baby strollers before, hang on to your hats because this thing is amazing, you guys. So this is the lightest full service rugged stroller on the market. So this stroller, you guys, weighs 27 pounds. That is incredibly light for a full, full service, you know, all terrain stroller. So this is an all terrain stroller. The tires are air filled. We're gonna talk more about the tires in a minute. But again, this is the lightest full service rugged stroller on the market right now at 27 pounds. So let's go ahead and talk about some specs with this stroller. So one of the things when I'm looking for a stroller that's very, very important to me is seated height. Now my girls are very, very tall. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Those of you who have been here before, welcome back. I do typically talk about my two-year-old and my three-year-old, although I am a mommy of four. My two-year-old and my three-year-old are in the 35th to 40th percentile for weight, but up above the 95th percentile for height. Now what that means is that when I go to find a stroller, I really struggle to find one that has enough seated height for my girls where their heads are not up into the hood or they're not like clear over the backrest of the stroller. So this seat, this stroller, each seat, you guys, is 12 inches wide and then the seat back from the bottom to the top of the back of the stroller is 20 and a half inches. But then from the bottom to the top of the hood is 28 inches. So both of my girls have plenty of head clearance with room to grow in the stroller, which is really nice. Another thing, because my girls are older that I look for, besides a full recline, because they do still sleep when we're out at places like Disneyland and stuff, is that the seats sit at almost a full 90 degree angle. So a lot of side-by-side -side strollers, when you go to get them, they don't sit upright completely. They lay back quite a bit. And because my girls are older, they don't always enjoy that. They wanna be up, they wanna be looking around. So this seat gives you a very straight back when you want it, and then does do a full recline when you want that as well. Now we do live in California. Another thing that is very important to me, you guys, is the hood. So right now you're seeing the hood zippered so that you do have three panels. So right now this is two panels open, but you can open up the panels. And this is how I always use it, it's fully open because I don't see why you wouldn't want a fully extended panel. But extend that and it comes all the way down almost to the bumper bar. Let me go ahead and get the other side for you. And again, because we live in California, I use the hoods almost all the time. My girls love the hoods. And so a hood coverage is very, very important to me. So you have great hood coverage. You have a fantastic five-point harness here with a crotch pad. The five-point harness is spring-loaded, so you just push the button, and they just come right on out really easy. Um, it's a great feature. My girls do have their straps on the highest slot. They do have room to grow, so their shoulders are below the straps when they sit here. Another feature is a swing away bar, you guys. So if you push the button here and you pull out, you do have the swing away option. Now my girls typically just climb in over the bar. We don't usually open this, but if you do have a child who's asleep or a younger baby, this is a nice feature to have. And it just snaps in. Bumper bar, you guys. This is not a foam covered bumper bar. This is a fabric covered bar. It's, what's nice about having a fabric covered bar, you guys, is that this one zippers off so you can wash it, put it right back on, child's gonna chew it. If they chew it, they're not gonna get a mouthful of foam. Fantastic feature. Then you have a footrest. Clicks up. This is eight inches, your footrest is eight inches, and goes down for the older child when they're awake. Now again, like we said before, this is 12 inches wide, 20 and a half high, with the hood fully open, you have 28 inches of seated clearance height. And with the stroller fully reclined, let's go ahead and talk about this recline, you guys. So it is a one hand full recline, and you can recline it anywhere along the way. But if you were to go full recline, you guys, with the footrest up, so you have 28 head, eight leg, and then with the full recline, you have 36 inches of lay space. Let me go ahead and turn it around so you can see what this will look like from back here. So when your child is sleeping, you do have the option to roll up. Oh, I have something in my back pocket. Let's <laughs> see what it is. Oh, holiday pictures. And some Starbucks straws. This is real life, people. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and roll this up. 
So if you had a little one who was sleeping or resting and it was a really warm day, you would have some nice airflow come through here, which is nice. So this is the only Velcro on the stroller right here. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that so you can see the pocket. You do have one very nice large wide pocket right here. It is a slip pocket and you have a narrow pocket right here for a water bottle or anything like that. And they do go the full length of the pocket. And again, this is a one hand recline, but I wanna go ahead and give you a full shot of what it looks like with a full recline. And I'll go ahead and put the hood down so you can see what that looks like. So at two and three, my girls do, because we're out and about a lot, we do a lot of walking, we do a lot of amusement parks. They do go to sleep a lot in the stroller, so this is a really nice feature for us. So again, with that foot rest up and the seat reclined, you have 36 inches of room. And again, it's that one-handed adjust to recline. I do use both my hands typically to put the seat back in an upright position. So let's go ahead and talk about the stroller wheels. The front wheels are eight inches and the back wheels are 10 inches. They are air-filled tires, you guys. That is what makes this an all-terrain stroller. It gives it a glide push. This is seriously a one-finger push for this stroller. It is a fantastic push. We've taken it over grass, we've taken it over gravel, we've taken it over sand, you guys. Again, we live in California, we have a lot of sand, we have a lot of rocks around here, and our street that we live on is on a hill. So this thing pushes like a dream. The front wheels do have the ability to lock if you wanted to do so. I'm not sure if I can get my hand in here and show you. So if you wanted to lock it, now it's easier to do with your foot. You just push down and it locks it into a straight position for that more um, sturdy terrain and then just lift it up to have the swivel wheel in the front. Let's go ahead and turn it around so you can see the back wheel. And again, this is a 10 inch back wheel. So again, the front, wheel, the front wheels are eight inches, the back wheels are 10 inches. Now, while you're back down here on the ground here with my husband, let's go ahead and talk about the brake. It is a flip-flop friendly brake. And again, I live in California. We wear flip-flops all the time. Now, because we're doing a video and I know that some people have foot issues, I am wearing fully closed toe shoes, but it is flip-flop friendly. Again, you step down, the, seat, the stroller locks, step on it again, it unlocks, and it is a glide push, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock the stroller, and we're gonna go ahead and play with the basket under here. Now, those of you who watched my channel before, you know that I love Jujube diaper bags. So let's go ahead and put some Jujube bags underneath the stroller here. So this is a Jujube Be Right Back. It is their second largest diaper bag. And that fits great sideways. Let's go ahead and see if we can see it straight on. Fantastic. All right, we have a GGB BFF. This is their most common bag. Now it is black and the stroller is black, so it may disappear under here. Let me go to the other side. So if you were traveling and you had multiple bags and you wanted to get multiple bags underneath the stroller, you could do so. BFF fits great in there. That fits great. Let's go ahead and the sporty will give us a lot of room. So since the B right back gave us so much room left, and I still have room up on top, you guys, you can see there's still clearance, although it's not packed full. Let's go ahead and put the sporty in there. So this is a Jujube B sporty. This is going to leave us with a lot of room left. So you can have a lot of configurations with stuff that you put under there. Now when we go out, we use our bottom of our stroller for jackets, for shoes, because I don't know about you guys, but my girls do not leave shoes on in the stroller. So we put jackets, we put shoes, we put ice chests under there. So you guys, I never hang a diaper bag from the stroller handle because you're not supposed to do that. You're really not supposed to have any weight from your stroller handle, although I know a lot of people do it. But I will sometimes hang a fuel cell from my stroller. And I really like this bar right here at the top of the handle to go ahead and uh, hang a fuel cell so I have easy access to snacks. So this would be a fully packed stroller. You got a Jujube BFF, you got a Jujube B Sporty, and you got a fuel cell, so you're ready to go. You still have room down there for jackets, for shoes, for all that kind of stuff. Now while I have you guys on the back side of the stroller, let's go ahead and talk about this handle. This is a very nice push handle. It is foam covered. You do have an adjustable handle. Just click the sides on either side. At its lowest point, it is 28 and a half inches high. At its tallest point, it is 41 inches high. So it has a lot of adjustability for different height parents. Now I'm five foot three and my husband's six foot so this is always a very nice feature for us.
Okay, so one of my fe favorite features back here, you guys, is the peekaboo window. Now, this is a magnetic flap, which is fantastic because it allows me to eye spy my girls while they're sitting side by side with the hoods down without them always knowing that I'm peeking at them. Now, because they are two and three, sometimes they like to antagonize each other, so I can always take a look at what's going on, and they don't know that I'm doing that because there's no loud Velcro to let them know that I'm peeking. You also have that bungee cord that you can... Clip it down if you wanted to leave it open for more airflow. You also have an included wrist strap here, just like you would on most jogger strollers. Now this isn't a jogger stroller, but again, it is an all-terrain stroller. So if you're going over some rougher terrain, you're going up and down some hills, I do recommend that you use your wrist strap. Okay, you guys, while this is not a one-handed fold, it is a very easy fold. So all you have to do is make sure that your seats are in a full upright position. You do not have to remove any parts of the stroller to fold it. So you can leave your bumper bars on there. If you had snack trays on there, which we'll talk about some of the accessories you can get, you can leave that on there. So what you're gonna do is you have two buttons or two pull tabs, one on each side. You're literally going to pull them up and fold forward. This stroller does have a clean fold. Now what that means is the stroller folds into itself so that the fabric, everything that touches the child is on the inside. And then once it's folded, you literally just push down and you engage the automatic locking arm. It is a full stand stroller. So once it's folded, it does stand on its own. Now while I have you down here, you guys can see this. So this is the automatic lock. Now typically when the stroller's in my car, because I do have an SUV, I undo this and then I pop the stroller out because it's really easy for me just to pull it out and pop it at the same time when it's coming out of my car. You do have two carry handles, one on the, each side of the stroller. It's very lightweight. Again, this is 27 pounds. Okay, so again, you guys, I normally do this while it's sitting in my car, but all you're gonna do is release the tab, which is very, very easy, and pop the stroller open, and it's ready to go. So one more thing that I wanted to mention about the harness straps, just before we get out of here, is that the crotch strap on this is very, very long. So a lot of strollers, when you get to older children, the crotch strap, let me go ahead and move the belly pad so you guys can see, is not really long enough for older children. Now my girls, when they sit here, they are so tall, but they don't need this elongated at all, like halfway. They still have a lot of grow room for height. So it's not adjustable as far as position front to back, but the length of the strap is very, very long. So you have a lot of grow room with this crotch strap. Okay, you guys, so one of the other things that I looked for when I was looking at side-by-side -side strollers was what the strollers came with and then what was also available to purchase separately. Now, why this is important to me, why I want a stroller that comes with some really great accessories but doesn't come with maybe everything is because I want my out-of-box cost to be down lower. So for me, I live in California. I don't want things like rain covers and foot muffs because I will never use those things where I live. That would be a cost that I would be spending on features that I wouldn't be using. But things that I do want do come Come right out of the box with the Neo. So the Neo does come with two bumper bars. So again, these are the fabric covered bumper bars. It does come with the hand leash, the wrist strap for when you're going over more um, rough terrain and you want to make sure that you have a good grip on your stroller because again, this is a lightweight stroller, it's that all-terrain stroller. And it does come with the carry handles. But I also wanted to have accessories available to me should I choose to have them or want them, but I didn't want to spend an arm and a leg. So for those of you who have had strollers before, you know what I'm talking about. My last tandem stroller, you guys, the snack trays were 60 bucks a pop. That was $120 worth of snack trays. I can get a snack tray for my Valco baby, plastic snack tray, beautiful snack tray, at $25. That is a great cost. So again, I wanted to be able to have accessories available to me if I wanted them, but I didn't want to spend an arm and a leg. So I don't have to have out of the box again things that I might not be using, but do have available to me things that I do want to use. So again, the stroller does come with the two bumper bars. Fantastic because I love the bumper bar feature. You know, I, it makes me feel safer that I'm not going to run into anything with my girls so that if I don't have a snack tray on here like I don't right now, that they do have something protecting them. And again, the bumper bars, both sides independently have the swing away feature and can also be completely removed. And that would be how you'd add your snack tray as well. So again, you have two bumper bars that come with the stroller. You have the leash and you have the carry straps. But you can, if you want to purchase separately, snack trays. So you could get one snack tray if you had one toddler and not get one for the other side. You could have two. You could have none of a snack tray. It's not something you want to have. And again, I really, really like that. The other accessories that are available is a rain cover. So you can purchase a rain cover if you live somewhere where you have a lot of rain. There are also two types of foot muffs that you could purchase 
if you were living somewhere with had inclement weather and you might want a foot muff for your little ones and then you can buy a stroller caddy so the parent console across the back they do sell one of those that you can add to the stroller again if that's something that you're interested in having but again when i was looking at the stroller i really wanted to have a company that offered accessories that i might want but didn't make me purchase ones that i didn't want to have because i wanted my out of box cost to be lower and i wanted the accessories that were available to not have a very high price point and I found that with Valco Baby. So the other thing that I know that you guys are gonna ask me is can you add a car seat to the Neo Twin? The answer is yes, it does allow you to add some car seats with the car seat adapter. Now the car seat adapter is purchased separately and the car seat adapter will allow you to add the Graco Snug Ride Click Tight the Kiko KeyFit 30, and then a couple of the European car seats. So the Maxi Cozy Miko, the Nuna Pippa, and the Cybex Aiden can all be added to the Neo Twin with the car seat adapter. Now you can only add one car seat at a time to the stroller, you guys, so you wouldn't be putting two car seats on this stroller. You can have a toddler and an infant in a car seat, but again, only one car seat at a time with that car seat adapter. And I'll tell you this, the car seats that you can add to this again. It is the Graco Snug Ride Click Connect, the Kiko KeyFit 30, the Maxi Cozy Miko, the Nina Pippa, and the Cybex Aiden can all be added with the car seat adapter. And the very last feature, you guys, that absolutely sold me on the Valco Baby Neo Twin is the weight capacity. So each one of these seats can hold a 45 pound child. So you can have 45 pounds here and 45 pounds here for a max of 90 pounds of child. So again, 45, max of 45, and max of 45. That is a very high weight limit for a side-by-side -side stroller. So I was telling you guys before is that this is the first side-by-side -side stroller that I have actually owned. And one of the things that really pushed me into a side-by-side -side stroller, beside the fact that the tandem stroller was not working with a two and a three-year-old with their legs and the kicking, was that I was having a really hard time with my other stroller fitting it through doorways because the back wheels were so very wide. The width of this stroller is 29 and a half inches. Now why that is important, you guys, is it fits through standard door frames. So we just got through the holiday season and I was able to do last minute holiday shopping in the mall, through doorways, pushed it through relatives' homes, and it fit through the doorways beautifully. So we don't struggle with that. We don't worry about where the back wheels are. So any of you who've had a tandem before where the back wheels are super wide, you know what I'm talking about. You get partway through the doorway and then you're you know, clocking yourself on the side because your, your wheels haven't gone the whole way through the door. So this is just a fantastic way to have your children side by side and still be able to fit through a standard doorway a huge huge plus so that's it for me you guys this is our valco baby neo twin stroller in love with it i am going to link the valco baby website below again this stroller is on sale just right now through the end of the year they may extend that sale hopefully you guys can get in on it as well i've had this stroller just a couple weeks and it's already my favorite so that's it for me you guys until next time professional mommy wishing you a happy end of 2017 and a wonderful beginning of 2018. bye, -bye. Okay guys, I want to show you how I get the Velcro baby out of my car. So I like to undo the arm and then pop it out as I'm pulling it out of the car. It's just a lot easier for me that way, so I'm going to go ahead and undo the arm. So just unclip the arm really quick. I pull the stroller towards me and then I'm going to swing it out and pop it open. Just like that. So then once I get it out of the car, I don't have any leaning over. I'm already done. I'm ready to go. Just take the foot brake off and I'm ready to go.